Game 1 of the NBA Finals. The Houston Rockets clinched the conference championship that climaxed in a Game 7 showdown. But now they need four more wins to reach their ultimate goal. It all starts right here, right now, against the Charlotte Hornets. The pinnacle of the postseason, the NBA Finals, is here. Basketball's biggest stage, the NBA Finals. It begins here, and 2K Sports is happy to bring it to you. Kevin Harlan here, and I'm joined by Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg with David Aldridge on our sideline. Hey, Dave. Well, Kevin, some people questioned the contract that Terry Rozier got from the Hornets in 2019, but three years later, he earned an even bigger deal. He says, I work my tail off because that's all I know. The money will be there. I'm more excited that I can just show my talent every night, what I'm about, and who Terry Rozier really is. Kevin, back to you. Love the motor. D.A., thanks. And a look at the starters for the Hornets. The forwards are Hayward and Washington. The guard pair, Ball and Rozier. And it's Richards in at the five down low. And for the Rockets, Porter Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. The post pairing for him, Smith along with Shingu. And it's Martin in at the small forward. So the Hornets win the tip. And so it's official. The NBA Finals have tipped off, and what a game we've got in store. Hayward against Martin. Hayward goes in, and the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. This happens night in and night out with Hayward. He does a terrific job of converting through contact. The Hornets shooting their first foul shot of the night. Absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually he's money from deep. There's the pass to Richards. There's the dish to ball. Hayward outside. And the Hornets miss again. They're one of four here to start looking to get into a flow offensive. Passes it to Shengu. And he makes good on the way. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Rozier. Ball up top, guarded by Porter. Like at six. Hayward kicks the ball. Rozier for three. 
And once again, off the mark by Charlotte. You know, currently they're just one of five from the field. That's not going to get it done. He lobs up the alley -oop pass, hammers the alley -oop through. Fantastic job moving the ball there by Porter Jr., understanding exactly what was available when his teammates were open. Hornets trail by four. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. the Rockets. Pass to Rozier. Ball is screen on green. Here's Rozier, and he dunks it down. Rozier. Rozier doing good work that time in the pick and roll. And so Green will bring it up for the Rockets. Boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. Yeah, nice, strong finish there. Nearly a three-point opportunity. Full throttle pedal to the metal, attacking basketball. I like that. Houston shooting their first free throws of the game. Shooting two. And he knocks down the first one. Hey, it's hard not to gush about Green. I mean, he's one of the more exciting talents to enter this league in, in quite some time. And both free throws good for Green. Hornets trail by four. Washington with this screen on green. Here's Rozier. Rebound by Smith. Boy, just not scoring with the efficiency he'd like to. Tough quarter for him. He kicks it to green. With the teardrop. That's tipped. Hayward against Porter. Hayward passes to Washington. And he gets it to go. Boy, lock into that focus from Washington there. Love the body control, too. Excellent. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. And putting that pressure on the rim. That's what it's all about, threatening with that attack. Now, here's Green. To the inside. Stolen by Ball. And stolen by Shangun. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Ball with it. No points in the game yet for him. Hayward passes to Washington. Washington sets the pick for Ball. Clock at four. The shot's good from Gordon Hayward. You know, you can do so much with Hayward offensively because he's versatile. He's good off the bounce, and he can catch and shoot as well. Rockets trail. Outside, Porter. There's a good screen. Here's Shengu. Oh, and it's sent back by Washington. Fires for three, and it's the Hornets another three. Boy, he's a stretch four now with a dangerous outside shot. Washington loves letting that one fly from there. For Houston, they've gotten three of eight shots to fall for them here in the first quarter. Pass to Smith. Outside, Martin. Denied. Boy, that's excellent defense from Hayward. He did a nice job challenging and got a hand on that shot as a result. Outside, ball. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. 
Rockets trail by four. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. And now the first timeout called here for the Rockets. Six. A beautiful reverse layup. He's trying to get it going offensively, but right now just one of four to start. And here is Ball. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. He takes the 12 footer and hits. Well, I tell you what separates Ball from a lot of players his age is that his footwork is advanced. He's got a almost a PhD in footwork. There's the screen. Tries it from nine. And it's green. Missing. Well, I'll tell you what, he's going to buy himself a ticket to the bench. If he keeps shooting it like that, he has been putrid here this quarter. Rozier kicks the ball. No problems knocking that one down. Now it's a six-point Hornets lead. About as easy an assist as you could have that time for Rozier. Green deciding where to go with it. And block. That one goes careening off the glass. It's going to be out of bounds. The Rockets will retain possession. And some changes here for the Hornets. Williams, he's checked in for Nick Richards. And Kelly Oubre subbed in for ball. Stolen by Williams. Here's Oubre. That's good. And it's Rozier with the assist. the assist. And the Hornets lead by eight. Rozier really coming into his own as a playmaker now. Here's Porter. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Yeah, another nice bucket down low. They've really been able to work the ball into the post effectively here so far. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Hornets. They've not been passive at all on defense early on. Challenging shots, and it's resulted in a number of blocks. And another thing they've done so well is convert fast break opportunities. Great job trusting their guys and getting those easy ones. Look, we've seen Kevin Porter Jr. go off for 50 in the game. He's got some serious skills on the offensive end. Smith, the pass to Uber. Here's Christopher on the wing, Porter. Nice move. And finished off by Porter. Whoa, storming inside on that drive. And then just exploding. What a jam by Porter. So it's the Hornets now. Three-point lead. Smith outside. Passes to Uber. Shot on the wing. Again, the Hornets score. And they're passing the ball very crisply here. And it's Porter with the ball for the Rockets. Pass to Tate. Five to shoot. 
a tray, a putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Now, here's Washington. Five points in the game. Washington with the screen on Tate. Smith wide open. He fires. And it's the Hornets, another three. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Quality looks they're getting, and they're capitalizing on them, guys. They have to be happy with this start offensive. And here's Porter after Dennis Smith was able to get the three. Here's Tate. Good, and a nice assist from Porter. And that's an example of playing big, adapting to the situation. And sometimes that's the best policy when you're going up against a big guy. Take it to the 10. Right at it. Get to the rack. Now, here's Oubre. Stolen away. Tate in the post. Working on Martin. Two minutes. Now, here's Porter. Eight points for him. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. The Rockets shooting their fourth shot at the foul line here. And the Hornets making a change here. Hayward's checked in. At the line, Carter Houston. KP At the line, shooting. He throw good. Porter. Charlotte has gone 3 of 6, 50% from deep so far tonight. Hayward outside. Count the bucket, and he's got a free throw coming up as well. Tell you what, he's 3 of 4 now. Looks like his game's on offensively. This is his second trip to the free throw line. Porter, 11 points in the game. One thirty-two left in the first quarter of the game. Oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Pass to Hayward. Washington sends the pick for Hayward. From 10 feet out, the shot, no good. And Houston the other way now. Defended by Hayward. Porter inside. He's against Smith, and he gets the bucket. Porter Jr. won't be denied of that bucket. Fearless, even around the big bodies. Hayward passes to Washington. A basket good off the assist from Hayward. Hayward's got three assists in the game. It's trail by five. 44 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Quarter, no luck. Charlotte's gone four or seven from three-point range so far in the first. Over to the left wing. Covered by Mark. Now here's Porter. He's guarded close. The pass to Tate. Six on the shot clock. They set the pick. Offline with his three. Oubre outside. No good there with this step back jig. So it's Gordon Hayward making things happen for Charlotte. He finishes with nine points in the quarter. The D is having all sorts of problems with him. Back right after this.
get back into the action here in game one. Let's see what this quarter has in store for us. Looking at what we've seen from the Hornets, what do you think? Just stretching out the floor that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. And you know what? That's what happens when you establish your three-point game early. Puts the defense right up against you. And here's Green. He'll bring it up for the Houston Rockets. Trailing by five. Setting the floor for the Hornets. The guard pair, Ball and Rozier. Hayward out there with Oubre, and it's Richards in at the five. Now here's Hayward. And it's blocked. They retain possession. To the paint. There's another turnover by the Hornets. And for Houston, they're shooting the ball at 42%. Pass to Smith. Houston moving the ball around. Here's Shangun. His shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Richards passes the ball. It's stolen by Smith. Pass to Green. Oubre pulls it in. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in the game. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. For Charlotte, they have had two chances at the line already, making them both. For Charlotte, taking two shots. First one falls for him. You can just see the promise ball has. It's oozing out of him. Already a triple-double threat. And he rebounds it so well at his position. Man, the future's really bright for this young man. And the Hornets making a change here. Williams is checked in. Ball hits them both. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Inside, it's tipped. Oubre against Martin. Here's Ball, and the layup's good off the glass. Ball's got four points this quarter. This is what height in the backcourt gives you. Ball can get almost anything he wants in there because of that size. Here's Green, and Ball with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Ball. Ball. Quarter number two, we're about two minutes in. Here's Christopher. The Rockets with another miss. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Ball with it. Eight points for him. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. Tell you what, he is a really special passer, the mellow ball. His ability to fit all kinds of passes into really small windows, phenomenal. And he's got his first chance at the line here. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Green against Ball. Shot to stop the run. That shot misses. And the Hornets now going the other way. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used his contributions. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working 
it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Now, here's Green. Martin with the screen for Green. A three-pointer, no good. They have been bored and dominant in this game. That's definitely been a factor in crafting this huge lead. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebounding has certainly been at, been at, the, at the center of it, but it's been good on a number of levels. Rockets trail by 14. Timeout call. The Rockets. Things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. will be against Lamelo Ball. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. Here's Green. Pass to Shangun. Here's Christopher. If they're going to remain competitive in this one, the efficiency on offense has to improve. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Rogier with the steal. And a fast break now for the Hornets. Ball's running. The kick out to Rogier. It's good. The assist that time from Ball. Ball's got his third assist on the night. And so Green will bring it up for Houston. 17-point game. To stop the drought. Good. Green's got six. Going off his inside game, which will complement Green's game on the outside. It'll force defenders to have to guard him in different places on the floor. Now, here's Ball. He's got 12. Bucket is good. Williams has got his first pass. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Houston's gone 0-2 from deep here in the second. Ball against Green. Here's Christopher. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Puts it up from 12, and that one, good. Well, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Here's the screen. Here's Ball. Again, the Hornets score. Tell you what, the competitive spirit of Ball, I absolutely love it. This guy is relentless. Green against Ball. Green passes to Shengu. Williams with the block. Another shot. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Now, here's Shengu. Following the miss by LaMelo Ball. Green finds Martin. Houston moving it around. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Christopher. Releases from the wing and drills it. Christopher's got four points this quarter. Rozier looking around. And air balls the triple. That one was way off. Well, I don't think he's performing up to his own expectations, but they still find themselves out in front. Williams with the clock. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball. Timeout called for Rockets. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. So for the Rockets, Goon. And Porter subbed in for Jalen Green. Charlotte also making some changes. 
Washington's checked in for Nick Richards. And Booknight comes in for Rogier. Smith on the wing. He's covered by Washington. Christopher. It's good. The assist that time from Smith. Christopher's got seven points for the quarter. Well, how about the vision from Smith? You have to know not just where, but when to deliver the ball. Hornets leading by 12. Now, here's Ball. He's got 14 from 10 feet out, and the jumper falls for him. You got to be in awe of what he's doing this quarter, actually destroying the opponent. Now Porter, 13 points in the game. Smith with a screen on ball. And the foul called on P.J. Washington. That's his first foul. Cody Martin, he's checked in for Kelly Oubre. On the pass to Tate. On the arc, drills the three-pointer. Tate's only got five points so far. And they're hitting the long-range shots that they were missing in the first quarter, but still have ground to make up. Williams has a screen for ball, and they come right back with their own three-pointer. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Outside, Porter. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Ball. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. Gordon Hayward's checked in for Charlotte. For the away team. Gordon Hayward. Charlotte leading by 14. Williams a screen on Tate. Takes the 13-footer. Out to Hayward. Now here's Booknight, guarded by Porter, and Williams with the stuff. And able to pad his stats a little bit there on that play, the board and the bucket. And you know, Greg, that'll put him in the good graces of that coaching <laughs> staff, too. My goodness. Hard work on the offensive glass always does that. I mean, his fans will remember the dunk, but the coaches love the rebound. So it's the Rockets now, following the bucket by the Hornets. Here's Christopher. He's got seven. To the middle, Williams with the steal. Washington passes to Booknight. Shot from 12. His first shot is a miss. 0 for 1 to start the contest. It's trailed by 16. Porter with it. He's got 13. Passes it to Christopher. Six to shoot. Sinks the triple. Man, the triples keep falling, guys. That's three in a row. I think they're playing too soft on the perimeter. They can't stay so soft. They've got to get up into the shooters here. Pass to book night. Williams, a screen on Porter. Down low. Porter with a block. And here is Tate. Five points in the game. Now, here's Porter. Houston needs to get a shot. Rebound by Williams. Yeah, and a dangerous trend here as they're starting to live and die with outside jumpers. Really good point. I mean, you want to keep that balance and attacking inside creates space for shooters and having shooters creates opportunities inside so it works hand in glove now here's Tate two open that time made it look too easy Tate's only got his third basket of the night 12 straight points off of three pointers and the D shifts and guys now that they're rolling from out there the defense has to really get up into them you've got to almost be in their jerseys to try to deny those looks Christopher, the pass to Porter. 
121 left in the second quarter. The lead now cut to single digits. Porter's got 15. Right on the money, Porter Jr. wanting to make an impact and a statement from the mid-range. Here's Book Knight. Charlotte no good that time either. That's a shot he's got to hit. You don't get many looks better from that range. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. The Rockets have been solid at the line so far. Four for four. And the Rockets making a change here. Garuba's checked in. The Hornets also with a sub. Smith has checked in. So it's Hayward with it. He'll bring it up for the Hornets. 17 points was their biggest margin. Smith outside. Washington sets the pick for Smith. Tipped away. Washington passes to Smith. Here's Hayward. And it's good. With time running down on the shot clock. 11 points in the game. Boy, he's been a rock of offensive support so far. And when they've needed a basket, they've turned to him. Smith against Porter. Pass to Christopher. Here's Garuba beyond the arc. Bangs home the trifecta. Seven seconds left in the first half. For three, Hayward, and no good in the last second attempt this time. Lamelo Ball getting it done for Charlotte. They kept going to him again and again, and he delivered with a master quarter. Right back after this break. First half of this postseason contest, and it hasn't been a great game so far for the Houston Rockets. They've gotten a big lift from their bench. The others making their presence felt at the offensive end. Nice work. If you're the coach, it's great to have those options at your disposal, and he's taken advantage of it. And looking at where the Hornets stand in the series, they've made it this far, game one of the NBA Finals. Shaq, how much brighter is the spotlight here in this championship round? It doesn't get any brighter. This is where you need your stars to be stars and your moons to be moons and your galaxies to be galaxies. You know what, Ernie? This is what you dream about. But you got to stay in the moment. You got to focus on things that got you here. Uh, how about planets to be planets? Does that apply here as well? Yes, it does. Thanks. And that's all for us. Now it's time to send it back to Kevin Harlan for the beginning of the third quarter. And we're back with you as these two teams do battle in their quest for an NBA championship. Man, we're seeing a tremendous game from LaMelo Ball. No problem fighting his way to the rim in this one. A lot of points in close. Yeah, you know what, guys? They gave him too many free runs to the hoop in the first half. I think they've got to be a lot tougher on him. Body him up. Be physical with him. The post-pairing form, Smith along with Shingu. 
Porter Jr. is the point with Green on the wing. And it's Martin in at the three, the small four. That's the group starting the second half for Steven Silas. breakdown from the defense there. I mean, he'll usually take advantage when that's the case. Green kicks the quarter. Smith with a screen on ball. Quarter, no luck. Charlotte in the lead. The pass to Richards. Back to Hayward. And stolen by Shangun. Passes it to Porter. Stolen by Ball. Here's Richards. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. Well, you know, it's obvious that Ball knows exactly how to work the angles. He gets the ball to a wide-open shooter just about every time. The Rockets shooting a respectable 47% for the field in this one. Here's Green. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Green's got eight points. And that's exactly what you want to start the second half. Smart play call. Yeah, they want to get the half off to a quick start, and they know who to go to. Oh, what an impressive dribble drive. That replay brought to you by Mobile One. And a close game like this, you've got to dig deep and just find a way to make things happen. Richards. And that one's good, Richards. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Porter double team. Smith against Rogier. There's a screen. And it's blocked. Hornets leading by three. This is the ball. Five on the clock. Takes a three. Rebound by Smith. Smith's got four rebounds in this game. Outside, Green. Smith right side. Out in the screen. Nice shot by Smith. Smith's got it all tied up now for the Rockets. And a guy with 44% from three in college. Smith is an elite outside shooter. Ball with the bucket. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks guys don't last minutes. They last days. Rockets have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Porter looking it over. Side mark and stolen by Hayward. Over Martin. Martin with the block. Green dishes to Porter. The 10 footer. Hornets with the rebound. Richards got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Rozier finds ball. And then Washington with the dunk. And you could see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. And I tell you what, guys, that's a big play to make in a close game. Potential momentum builder there. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. That's on Terry Rozier. Green's activity on offense is something I really appreciate. Because of that, I think he makes the defense typically commit fouls. Green. Two shots. Free throw drops for Green. And it's been an outstanding game for them at the free throw line. Not missing their chances when they get them. And the Hornets making the change here. Oubre is checked in. Charlotte has gone 0-2 from deep to start things here in the second half. 
Pass to Rozier. Kicks the ball. Steps back and shoots. That's good. And it's Rozier with the assist. Rozier's got his fifth assist in this one. Outside green. Now the feed to Martin. Oubre with the steal. He dishes it to Hayward. Ball from long range. Hits the three-point bomb. Now it's a seven-point Charlotte lead. And look at how the hustle game has been going for Charlotte. Really a great job in this one. Forcing the issue defensively. Great quickness and discipline combined. Making ball handlers very uncomfortable. And they've also shown great effort defensively tonight. They closed out on shooters and really got their hands up on multiple shots. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. He is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. Houston making a switch. Kaminsky's checked in. Rockets trail by 10. Now Green. He's got 10. Kaminsky is screen on Rozier. Green finds Kaminsky. Shakes off the strong D and gets the bucket for two. Making himself a big target in these screen rolls. It's often overlooked, but important. Kaminsky. Love seeing him cut with purpose like that. Here's Charlotte now. They're on a 12 to 4 run. Rozier, the pass the ball. That's good, and it's Rozier with the assist. Ball's got 12 points in just the second half. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. Houston's gone 7-15 from three-point range tonight. They're not afraid of that shot. Green against Rozier. Good on the shot, and with that, the Charlotte lead is kept back down to eight after they get the basket from Green. A huge hole in the defense that possession. He didn't waste any time cutting to it. Now, here's Ball. He's got 31. It's deflected. And you know, at his size, Kaminsky should be blocking more shots. I'd like to see this effort every time. Quarter pass to Kaminsky. Outside, Green. The three ball. Hornets with the rebound. Hayward's got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. We'll see if that's the answer. And it's Porter with the ball for the Rockets. Trailing by 10. Launches it. Oubre pulls it in. Charlotte's gone one of three from downtown since halftime. Hayward kicks to Oubre. Over in the corner, Rogier. And another three for Charlotte. Rogier. Hey, when Terry Rogier is hitting these jump shots, it really widens the driving lanes for him. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Now, here's Porter. He's got 18. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. Here's Ball. It's rebounded by Houston. Here's Kaminsky. Some nice passing there by Houston. Green, no luck. Their game plan needs to change if they're going to get out of this hole because he is just not there offensively. Ball surveying the defense. Yep, it counts. Ball's got 33. And that's his M.O. Sometimes he can score more points by himself than the rest of the team. 
Rockets trail by 13. Now a timeout called by Houston. And the lack of rim protection top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. So both teams making some changes here. To the middle. Here's Green. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. Showing off that phenomenal body control right there. Green gets the shot to go despite being bumped. He's had four chances at the line, made them all. At the line for Houston, Chandler Green. One shot. And Green no good on that one. Charlotte leading by 11. Williams, a screen on Green. Outside, Williams. No good from outside. For Houston, they've gone 7 of 13 in the third quarter so far. Just above 50%. Green passes to Christopher. Inside, Garuba. Williams with the block. And here is Booknight. He's still scoreless so far in this one. The dish, the ball. Williams sets a screen for ball. And no good. Rockets trail by 11. Pass to Green. Here's Christopher. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Christopher's got 10 points in the game. Charlotte has gone 2 of 5 with a three point shot since coming out of the break. Oubre passes to Bookman. Here's Ball, and he banks in the layup. And now that's 35 points for LaMelo Ball. And not quite as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half, sticking to the high percentage shots, playing smart with the lead. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring them back. Outside ball. In the corner, it's Oubre. And they wasted no time getting those three points back. He has seven. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Ball against Green. The pass to Garuba. Takes the three. Good on the three-point shot. Nice to see such unselfish play from Green, putting the team ahead of himself. We've got 123 left in the third quarter of the game. Ball gets to Uber. To answer back, but that three is off the mark. It's trailed by seven. Green passes to Christopher. A fadeaway, and it's Houston with another. Boy, a confident shooter from this area. Kaminsky obviously has put in a lot of work in this aspect of his game. Charlotte's gone three of seven from three point range here in quarter number three. And Ball gets double team. Williams with a clean look. No good with the triple. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Green against Ball. It's tipped. Williams with the steal. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. To the inside. Not going to go that time. Great tee that time from Green. Greg, I'm sure their coach is very pleased with their offensive flow right now. I mean, it's harder than it looks to get it going like this. Now they just have to maintain it. Now here's Green. 17 points in the game. Six on the shot clock. Kaminsky in the corner. Good. Great play by Green to set it up. Green's got four assists in the game. Doesn't go for him. Lamelo Ball getting it done for the Hornets. Setting up teammates and getting buckets. He is looking as determined as ever. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. speak 
for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. And here's Rogier. He brings it up for the Hornets. 17 points was their biggest margin on the court for Charlotte. Rogier on the wing along with Hayward. Washington out there with Williams. And it's Smith in at the one spot. Here is Porter after Gordon Hayward's bucket. Right side, Porter. And yes, it's good. Porter's got 22. And Porter Jr. is smoking hot. He's hard to stop. He's so relentless in how he attacks, keeps constant pressure on the defense. Now, here's Rogier. Washington sends the pick for Rogier. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And really, the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. Much better off making him go to the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two seconds. And the first one at the line is good. Washington hits them both. Gets trailed by five. Quarter with it. Fourth quarter just getting started. One minute in the books. And the rejection by Smith. Here's Washington and the rejection by Smith. A relentless defender. Smith proving how disruptive he can be on that end. And for Houston, they're shooting 52% for the four. Nice work so far from them. Now here's Porter. Smith finds Martin. Houston moving the ball around. Here's Shengu. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. And that's right in his wheelhouse. Looking to make an impact when it counts. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Washington against Smith. Passes it to Rozier. The pointer hits it from three-point range. Rozier, the third. And the Hornets lead by eight. Three points. Got to defend this. I mean, Rozier is more than willing to take the three ball if you give it to him. Smith against Porter. The rejection by Smith. And he gets it back. Now here's Hayward. He kicks it to Williams. Smith on the way. Covered by Martin. Rogier for three. And they get it back. It's rebounded by Houston. Pass to Porter. He drives in. Yes, that goes in. Porter's got four points this quarter. He can get it to the rack, too. Porter Jr., unafraid to slice his way to the cup. Williams has a screen for Rozier. And finished off by Williams. Oh, I love watching him flush it home. Showing how easily he can get off the ground and bang it. Rockets trail by eight. Outside, Porter. A bit under three and a half minutes have passed here in the fourth. Porter can't get that one to fall. For Charlotte, they've gotten four of their six shots to fall so far here in the fourth. A pretty nice efficiency there. Now, here's Rogier. Guarded close. And it's Washington missing. For Houston, they've gone three of seven from the four in the fourth. That's a 42% mark in the court. And with that, the Hornet lead is cut down now to just six points with that basket from Smith. Now Smith. beyond the yard and the Hornets lead by nine this guy knows how to get it done he knows what he's doing out there 
A nice job from the three-point line this half. Here's Porter on the pass to Shengu. Off target from three-point range. Charlotte leading by nine. Baseline jumper. Got a hand on it. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. And that kind of stifling effort on defense needs another look. Hey, bringing that postseason intensity, so critical. You know, these plays can change the trajectory and outcome of a game. Tate, he's checked in for Houston. Here's Smith. Hayward outside. Just five to shoot. A block shot, and that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle, and two shots coming up. You know, Hayward's really an outstanding athlete, a sneaky good athlete. He's creative at using his physical abilities to draw fouls inside. throw drops for Hayward. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal. Yeah, they've not missed a single foul shot this half. and That's taking care of business, fellas. Martin's checked in for Charlotte. Now, here's Porter. Well, a shot missing. Good work defensively by Martin. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Here's Rozier. Here's Williams. It's blocked. Pass to Porter. From 15 feet away, the Rockets with another miss. Oh, it's been a turbulent quarter, really rough for him. Nothing going his way. He seems determined to shoot his way out of it. Martin dishes to Hayward. Pass to Rozier. Washington sets the pick for Martin. Out to Hayward. There's the three. Trains the three-pointer. Hayward's got seven now in this quarter. And certainly, they are not hesitating. Letting it fly from deep here in the second half. Yeah, I have no problem with that. As a matter of fact, I hate to see teams get conservative with the lead. As long as they're good shots, take them. And as long as they're falling, continue to take them. And here's Rogier. He brings it up for the Charlotte Hornets. They've given up just eight points in the fourth quarter. Hayward on the wing. Williams a screen. Hayward with the ball. And it's Martin picking him up. It's good. Well, that's a play Hayward loves to run. He mastered the pick and roll as a young player, and he's only gotten better with experience. Pass to Porter to halt the run, and that one good. Porter's got 26 points. I'll tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today, because without him, this thing would already be over. Williams, a screen on Martin. Hayward finds Williams. Pass to Hayward. Boy, we're really seeing the best of Hayward tonight. He's really a versatile scorer, all kinds of ways to break down the defense. Rockets trail by 16. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, that, their offense has ground to a standstill. Here's Porter again with the block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. Okay. And playing with the lead, you can see they're making a much more concerted effort to work the ball inside here in the second half. Green is checked in for Tate. The Hornets also with a sub. Ball's checked in. Houston's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Here's Green. Bears another block. 
You've got to have a better effort against him. Sending back everything. Williams sets a screen for Rozier. Ball against Porter. The drive by ball. And Ball slams it in. Hey, this mix of agility, instinct, athleticism. Ball able to drive right in for the big throwdown. Rockets trail by 21. Here's Green. And it's blocked. And so the ball is out of bounds. Rozier touched it last. Porter with it. Now defended by Hayward. And that one's good by Porter. Porter's got 13 points in the second half. A flat-out bucket getter. Porter Jr. is a scorer who will hurt you all over the floor. Hayward kicks the ball. Porter with a block. the pass to Green. Smith with a screen on Rozier. And Green gets it to go. And that's his second triple of the half. None for him going into the break. Green against Rozier. Passes it to Ball. Out to Hayward. But three. No good on that one. And Houston the other way. Here's Smith. A crossover. And they call the foul. So a chance at the line for one more coming up. Yeah, scouts have said Smith needs to get stronger. And maybe that's the case. But, well, he sure muscled that one. Nick Richards. He's checked in for Williams. Smith doesn't seem to have a weak spot coming into the lead. And here is Rogier. Back to Ball. And Ball gets double teamed. Three-pointer. Hayward. Shengun with the rebound. shengun has got rebound number five here tonight. Quarter pass to Shengun. Green against Rogier. Green kicks to Martin. Shot clock at six. A nice shot by Smith. Rogier with the ball. Now here's Ball. Porter with a block. And it's out of bounds. The Hornets able to retain possession here. Hornets call. Stolen by Shangu. Dishes it to Green. Smith with a screen on ball. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Inside, Green's energetic play makes him really hard to contest without foul. The defense's best effort turns into a foul. Shangu, Green. the first one and that brings them to within 10. That one falls so he hits both of them. 131 left in the fourth quarter. Pass the ball. And ball gets double teamed. Rogier for three. That falls. Nice feed that time from Ball. Ball's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. There's 117 left here in the fourth quarter. 
Rozier against Green. Smith sets the pick for Green. To the wing right side. Now, here's Shangu. He's guarded closely. And you can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. Yeah, you know, I agree with you. They waited too long to finally ramp themselves up. And so it's Ball who brings the ball up for the Charlotte Hornets. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. I'm sure this is exactly how they hope to start off this final series with a nice win here in game one for the Hornets. And it may be a comfortable win for him, but you know they had to weather a few storms along the way, and that's all part of the storm. Yeah, Kevin, this was by no means the runaway that it might appear to be. It was a scrappy performance, though, all the way through. They're certainly starting the finals off on the right foot, and this will be a comfortable win for them in game one. Yeah, this was a statement game, and what a time to make it. I'm sure it's going to get tougher for this group, but they won't be able to just run away with the championship. But tonight, they clearly established themselves as the stronger team early in this series. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for LaMelo Ball. It was the kind of game for him that all scorers dream of, where the basket seemed as wide as a barrel. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exits. There's Green with the three, gets the bucket. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there it makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. And so it's Charlotte with the win. A uh, pretty good feeling right now for them to be out in front like this in the series. You know, Kevin, momentum so, so critical. And you know they'll want to ride this wave into game two. So that's a wrap for the first game of the NBA Finals. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. Now, let's check out our New Balance player of the game, LaMelo Ball.